everyone. So this is part two of my ginormous drugstore haul. Um, these are products that I have been collecting and hauling since February. It is now May, so that's quite a good uh, chunk of time that I've been um, buying some drugstore products. So if you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below. Um, this is part two. I just decided to split it up into two videos because it was getting quite long. So I do have um, some things from NYC, Wet n Wild, All May, and that's it. Those are pretty much like the brands that I still have to show you. So if you want to see what I got in part two then keep on watching. Okay, the first item I want to show you in part two is one of the NYC smooch proof liquid lip stains. This one is in... what are you in? Well that's annoying. Once you rip off the actual packaging you can't it doesn't have a name on this packaging. Well that's stupid. Anyway this is in Faithful Coral. And if you've seen my previous videos lately, you know that I am really into um, lip stains. So I wanted to try these out. And this one actually looks a lot more sheer than your traditional lip stains. So, but I'm excited to try it out. Maybe it'll be really buildable once it dries. Um, let me know if you guys want like a first impressions or I don't know if you want to know my thoughts on it. Um, next item is from All May. This is one of their, I don't even know what these are called. Um, they're really similar to the Brub on Lip Butters. This is in Pink Light Medium. I do have a, the Nude Light Medium, which I really, really, really like. It is like my lips but better. It, it's really, really good. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and pick up another one and go ahead and picked up the pink. This one looks really pretty as well. They don't really have, it has like a slight vanilla scent, but like I said, I really enjoyed the nude one so much that I wanted to try another one. Next lip product I got is one of the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints. This one is in Elude, and I, I've only swatched these um, lip paints. That looks really pretty. Um, I haven't actually worn them on my lips. Let me know if you guys want a swatch video of the ones I have so far. Um, I have a feeling, again, I will be probably uh, collecting the rest of these. I think there's like something crazy like 18 colors. I do have, I think this is like my 8th or ninth one that I have. So let me know if you want a swatch review of those. And from here on out, all the rest of the products that I have to show you are from Wet n Wild. Um, Wet n Wild is probably one of my, it's one of my favorite drugstore brands. I own a lot of products from them and they're cheap and they're good. So I have three of the Fergie Velvet Matte Lip Colors. So I pretty much got the ones that I heard the best reviews on. I know that there's like mixed reviews on these types of lip pencils um, from Wet n Wild. Uh, most people hate them. There's a few colors that are not pigmented. So I kind of went with the ones that are number one more on the neutral side, but two ones that got better reviews um, online. So first one I have is in Plum Genu. Again, people have said that these do come out. And there you go, folks. Um, that was one of the other complaints about these types of products is that they were not very well made, which I agree with that. Um, they were like $3 and something and change. So that's Plum Genu. Looks like a really pretty, um, like, mauve wine color. If I can keep this in the packaging, I'm sure that I can get over the fact that it's going to fall out every time I use it, but what you gonna do? There's that. Next one is called Timeless Chick. Again, this one is also coming out. This one is more of a like brown, brown nude color. And the last one is called Fashion Darling. And this one this one's very similar to the Timeless Chick, just has a little bit more uh, 
a little bit more mauve and pink than the Timeless Trick color. Okay, on to some things that are better in the Wet n Wild line. Um, I got a, another, what are these called? The Wet n Wild, I don't know, matte lipsticks? This is in Spiked with Rum 915B. I really, really like these types of lip products. They are very matte, very, very creamy, a lot better than these, but um, yeah. That's really gorgeous. Um, I'm really drawn to these types of darker nudes. Again, I do own um, quite a few of those shades, so I just wanted to pick up that color. Next item I wanna talk about is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette. I am wearing this on my face right now in conjunction with the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is in Dulce de Leche. Oh, there's Doggy. Hi, Daisy Girl. She likes to uh, look out the window when I have it open, so that's why she's kind of seeing what is going on here. Anyway, this is what it looks like. This is the lighter of the two. Um, very, very natural in um, pigmentation, which can be really good for somebody who's a beginner and doesn't want to right away go for like a really, that's them right there the lighter ones at the bottom but um they are very very finely um, milled they are very powdery though and actually these two look very very similar to two colors from the Kat Von D Shein light palette so if you want me to do a comparison video of the two let me know but I do have uh, both of these on my face today next items are two blushes from the Fergie line I have Bl Brush with Brilliance, which is like this really pretty darker golden peach. And then I have Brush with Destiny, which is a beautiful, um, more of a, like a neutral, uh, neutral peach color. There is one more that's like a really bright pink. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to pick it up. These are, the blushes are usually pretty good from Wet n Wild, so I'll see how I like those and I might pick up the bright pink Next one. item I got is this eyeshadow palette from the Fergie line. This is the uh, Milano Collections, and this is the neutral palette. There is one more that's a purple toned palette, and I think that one's uh, the Paris Collection. Looks like it comes with a little brush. We'll see how well that works. Um, but this is gonna fall out, okay. This is what the colors look like. I've heard this is a pretty decent palette. It does come with some shimmer and some mattes. Yeah, they are swatching pretty decently right now. Um, those are two of the colors right there. As you saw, one swipe, super pigmented. Um, I really cannot wait to try this out. I do um, like most of the Wet n Wild eyeshadows, as you will see next. Um, so I'm really excited to try this. And last but certainly not least, I got the Wet n Wild Six Pan Eyeshadows from the Silver Lake Collection. I believe the Silver Lake, Silver Lake Collection is limited edition. If you remember back in the day, the Six Pan Palettes from Wet n Wild were the shiznit. Okay, um, everybody in their mama still talks about them. They discontinued the Six Pan Palettes. I don't know why. They were amazing. I do own all four of them. They're great. So when I saw these six pan palettes, I'm like, yeah, you're coming home with me, baby. So I do have all five of them. Um, I'm not going to swatch them in this video. If you want me to swatch them, I will do a separate video. If you want me to do a tutorial with them, I will definitely do that. Um, so the first one I got is Thrift Store Chic. This is more of a um, pink palette. It does have one matte color, which is this pink one right here. All the other ones do have some sort of shimmer to them. Next one is called Vinyl Collection. This is the neutral palette of the bunch. This one has a um, matte color right there. All the rest are shimmery. I'm really intrigued by this green color. I feel like this green and this gold will look really, really pretty together. So I might do a look with that. Uh, next one is called Vegan Culture. This is more of a bluish green 
toned palette. This green is actually different than the one in the vinyl collection um, palette. This one is more olivey. This one is more of like a like a jaded green. But this one does not have any um, matte colors. They all have shimmer and this one's got looks like a little bit of silver glitter in it. Next one is called Embrace Obscurity. This is a blue and purple toned palette. Uh, this one's got two matte colors. The two ones in the middle right there. All the other ones have either these are shimmer and these do have a little bit of glitter in it. And last but not least, uh, this palette is called California Roll. I really like this one because it is actually quite unique. I really want to do a look with these PG colors right there. Um, there's two mattes in this one, this peach and this like reddish color. All the other ones have, these two have shimmer and these two have glitter. Uh, really pretty. Like I said, I loved the six pan palettes when they came out back in the day. And I really, really, really have high hopes for those ones. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.